iOS 8 launches today and with it comes a slew of new features, let's take a quick tour of all the important stuff so you can get to using it right away. The biggest change you'll find is in messages. Now, when you receive a new text message, you can quickly reply without leaving the screen you're on. If you get banners, just pull down on the notification you can reply from there. If you receive alerts, you'll get the option to reply on the alert. That's not all with messages. A new details section allows you to send your location, leave group conversations, browse all attachments, and temporarily mute conversations. The keyboard gets a few enhancements here as well. A new predictive text keyboard learns your most commonly used words and makes them easy to quickly select so you can type faster. If you're not a fan, third-party keyboards are also now available from the App Store. You can now access your most recent contacts and your favorites from the multitasking tray. Just double tap the home button and you'll see all your recent contacts. Mail gets some new gestures. Just swipe left on the message to get an archive menu or swipe right to mark as read or unread. If you do a fast swipe, you can delete or archive right away. Spotlights enhancements are pretty great as well. You can now search for movie showtimes, apps in the app store, and more. Also new here are Widgets Notification Center. Some apps will allow you to put a small widget with bits of information in Notification Center so you can quickly glance at it. To set these up, just pull down Notification Center, scroll down to the Edit button, and change the apps you want. Similar to widgets are extensions for Safari. These extensions allow you to extend Safari's functionality so you can quickly send a site to Pocket, type passwords in with one password, or send something over to Pinterest. If you have an app installed, you'll see new options in Safari's Share menu. iOS 8 also makes it easier to share your iTunes info with your family now. Family sharing makes it so you can set up shared photo streams, reminders to find my friends, calendars, and all your purchases from the iTunes store. Photos get a few new improvements as well. You can now search for photos by location or date. Also new is an undelete option to make sure you don't accidentally lose anything. Once you delete photos, you'll find all of them put in a recently deleted folder. Here, you can recover anything for up to 30 days. Finally, we also get a new app in Health. Here, you'll be able to see all your health information your iPhone is tracking in one place, as well as any information from third-party apps that integrate with it. You can also track all your own stuff here as well. Of course, this is just the basics. There's plenty more stuff tucked away in iOS, so be sure to head to Lifehacker for more tips and tricks.